okay uh, good afternoon friends let's begin see that uh, few students have joined so anyway we people have to continue uh, see that how we can stay focused on our goals so very few students are able to do this many of the times uh, they are just doing the things naturally and they are getting the results but on the other hand there are other people who are just struggling struggling and struggling still they are not getting result so i hope that those students who have joined like those who are self motivated these students uh, are like this maybe for example i can give example uh, suppose you wanted to work on your fitness okay so what you people can do you people are just going to uh, join gym and there you are going to uh, work out every day but this activity personally i don't like so i have to wake up early in the morning and then i have to for that i have to set an alarm and then it destroys my sleep and so i don't like to go to gym and just uh, not able to continue with my health my fitness so there are some people like this who are just facing like this only so they are just carrying burden so always there is a pressure always their uh, happiness is destroyed and still they are not able to get the result so if i am having such kind of feeling that uh, going to gym is not a pleasure for me but still i have to go because this is the goal that i have set to work on my health maybe for one year people are like this so they don't like to do the things but still they have to do and uh, because of somebody has said and so they are doing so they may face such kind of difficulties problems burdens pressures etc but now imagine that if you wanted to work on your health you wanted to improve your fitness so for that instead of going to gym you, if you people are going uh, to play badminton for one hour every day so now in this case now i i like it very much to play badminton so it is my passion to play badminton it is my interest to play badminton and if i'm playing it every day one hour so there is no need to uh, set an alarm to wake up or just destroy my happiness anything like that and still i'm getting a better results mm -hmm. so here i can focus on my uh, goal and that is also in a different way so here you people have seen two situations where that one particular going to gym and just doing a drudgery there doing a hard work there and still not getting result but on the other hand uh, if i am going to play badminton there i just play naturally uh, it is my pleasure from that i get fitness and uh, i get better result more than expected so can we apply this for our english communication can we apply this for our life can we apply this for our goals in career of course we can apply this in each and every aspect because there are multiple ways that we people can have and so you people just choose that which way you people are interested in if you are interested in that particular way you just put your energy in that so you'll feel that you are just enjoying if you're not just putting your energy in that way then you'll feel that you are just struggling and your energy is drained and you feel completely exhausted you feel tired you feel no nervousness irritation etc so like was again that if you play a game and you are just keeping uh, the Uh, set uh, winning so one after another you uh, won that one two three sets of game so what happens normally your confidence level goes high and on the other hand if you are just losing the game then what happens that one two three time if you are losing then your confidence level goes down so if you are losing that time your natural game also uh, becomes uh, worse and you are not able to concentrate you are not able to focus if your focus is changed then there is uh, it it affects on your performance so same happens here for studies also so 
let it not happen with our studies you should not lose the focus you should not lose the attention and you just keep focusing on what exactly your goal is as far as why you people are studying why you people have chosen civil engineering why you people are attending this cip lecture so if you are asking such questions to yourself you will get answers that particular goal particular objective you, you people have behind that that's why you people are studying that's why you people have chosen civil engineering and that's why you people are attending this cip lecture and if now you are very clear about the goals then how you people have to choose the ways to reach to these goals like the way to go to going to gym or like the way to playing badminton and if you are choosing the ways that are suitable to you that are just uh, natural to you then you will find that everything that you do you are enjoying your studies you are enjoying you are learning you are enjoying your classes you are enjoying your lectures you are enjoying everything that you are enjoying you will notice this so that change you people need to bring and it will be possible that you need to take motivation every day get motivated for uh, throughout the day for doing everything that you do during the lecture during the day you may be attending classes you may be just doing other work but if you are not motivated then you are just doing for the sake of somebody has asked you to do so likewise why you people are attending cip lecture because uh, you just are forced to attend this cip lecture and so you are attending and if you are not really interested in this and still if you are just attending then again you people may be just show other people that you are doing it but actually you are not having any kind of achievements gain knowledge nothing okay so i hope that it is clear to you so at least those people who have joined these people will just continue because the future if in the future you wanted to survive you should have multiple skills and those people will get survived that having knowledge skills communication etc so people are just taking efforts of course that the benefit of this you are going to get in the future maybe after 5 years 10 years 15 years you will be ahead than those who are not attending lecture right now let's begin today what we people were talking about we people are talking about such a, a certain situations that we people come across in our day to day life and uh, uh, we people are going to continue with that only so let's begin i'll share the screen and uh, uh, you people just let me know whether it is audible to you as well as it is visible to you also so is it audible visible yes sir yes sir okay okay fine so then let's begin that with this slide that five phrases for responding to good news have you done this or not it in previous lecture where we stopped do you remember anything or or nothing at all you are just maybe attending right the whatever the you people are just attending and that is fine for you okay let it be we will continue with this only if you don't remember next time you try to remember exactly where we finished and where we people are supposed to start okay so how we people can respond to good news so good news it doesn't mean that always that you people are getting uh, news for baby only so that is only good news so nothing like that so in movies also we people are just believed to uh, respond that good news is only that good news where the uh, that uh, coming of arrival of baby that is only good news but it is not that there are so many things that you are getting an award you are just uh, going to buy a new car you got a new job or you have planned something and you achieved it simply there could be number of reasons for good news 
so if you come across with that good news with your friends your family members your relatives so how people can react to such good news so simply very plain word that you people can use is this congratulations that you people can see so that is a simple and plain word that for uh, we people have to use it then a uh, next word is that that's great so when you say that's great at that time you people you're saying that whatever you have maybe suppose your friend has bought a new car and he told you he informed you see that i have bought this lamborghini or some what other model of cars is telling you about so how you are just reacting just yes, that's great so when you say that's great you're not going to throw just words or you're not going to complete only formalities by saying those words as far as our mother tongue is concerned we don't have any kind of difficulties with expression of words and feelings but as far as english is concerned there is possibility that it may happen that you're saying that's a great so when you're saying that's a great so it seems a blank expression there is no any kind of excitement there is no kind of and with these words you people have to show such kind of uh, excitement on your face also so here you people when you are saying that's great that time your facial expressions also should be similar to this situation so there should be a joy or smile etc on your face so in that case only you people will convey the same meaning otherwise what will happen you are saying something else and your facial expressions are conveying something else so that should not happen then uh, let's go to next phrase that you people can say how wonderful so when you say how wonderful so that is also you people have to bring expressions in your words it should not be just mere words how wonderful you say how wonderful so such kinds of things you people think of and try to use next is awesome so awesome means something is quite uh, very good pretty cute beautiful for that you people can use this awesome next you people can also say i'm so happy for you so when you say i'm so happy for you so for that also you people have to bring such kinds of expressions you people need to bring your feelings and emotions to the words and then you people have to say and similarly try to show it in your body language also from your facial expressions it should be observed so these are the five phrases that you people can choose for having good news and you can react accordingly then let's go to and see how we people can react to some bad news so we can come across with such bad news of somebody's loss maybe damage some maybe fire maybe death maybe something anything could be a bad news so if somebody is telling you about such bad news so in that case how you people can respond or what you should say or oh, here are certain phrases that you people can think again i'm telling here that these are not only phrases there are much more many more phrases that you'll come across but these are just as an example you just remember and you try to find more you go to the internet search in google you'll get number of other ways and expressions also and those expressions also you people can use so i'm not saying here that only follow this so that is only very limited there is one just an example only you people have to think of this others are uh, words and expressions and uh, sentences phrases you try to learn on your own and don't just learn very important to use them talk to your friends deliberately just make your every day take 5 minutes 10 minutes to talk to your friends on certain topics and uh, speak in english so otherwise you may be just attending it every day or twice in a week but you are not following anything you are not doing anything for speaking then what you will be just uh, like this you will be just understanding everything your english is quite improved as far as your listening is concerned your english is quite good as far as your writing is concerned your reading will be okay but what about your speaking so there definitely will face lots of difficulties it doesn't mean that you don't know but it is only because of lack of practice only so therefore you people 
just speak a few sentences every day five to ten sentences five to ten minutes just think in over the topic and speak the topic to your friends okay so now just come to the point that how people can react to bad news so first of all your people can uh, use expression is this oh no so this is an expression something when we listen that bad news or somebody's death or somebody's loss damage or accident something like happens so we people can use this expression next you people can just say that that's terrible so when you say that's terrible so it is also related to bad news so some you heard maybe some attack is there some uh, fighting is there maybe any uh, damage is there so if you heard this you can say that's terrible then uh, next one is poor you so when you say poor you it is not just related to money or economical you are saying somebody poor you so poor you it means that uh, you people are just feeling pity compassion for the situation of that particular person and so you are saying poor you so use this uh, to respond to bad situations that are not too serious so maybe they are just simple they are pretty and not serious in that case you can say poor you uh, so meaning of poor you we can say bichara or bechara like this so that means poor you uh next you people can also say that i'm so sorry to hear that so that is also you people have to say if you listen that somebody's death is there or something like this bad news come across and person or the person they are conveying you that this has happened with me so in that case you people can just say i'm so sorry to hear that and here you people can use this i am sorry for your loss so when you say i am sorry for your loss so these kinds of expressions can be used if someone has died so in that case you people can say i am sorry for your loss so these phrases you people try to use try to remember practice them so that they are just uh, familiar to you your tongue is uh just habituated for using such words and sentences then uh we will go for next slide where we people can see that here are 10 phrases for invitations so invitations here you may invite someone for a party you may invite someone for lunch or for you are going to offer somebody some snacks or maybe you are just asking somebody to watch movie or you wanted to know if someone is free at a particular time so how you people can just invite so that phrases will be here in this slide okay so let's see what uh, are the such invitation phrases first of all you can ask are you free on saturday night so if you are asking it means that you wanted to have some plan on saturday night so you are asking are you free saturday night are you free on sunday are you free on monday are you free tonight so this certain questions if you can ask and to know that if they are free then what plan you have if the person says yes i am free on saturday night you can say shall we go for movie shall we go for party shall we go for shopping shall we go for dinner so plans can be everything or different so but accordingly you just try to invite people if they say they are free or in other words you people can also ask that are you doing anything saturday night so here one and two are same so you wanted to ask the person whether he or she is free at particular time so are you doing anything on sunday are you doing anything on saturday or are you doing anything tonight so this way you people can just ask someone whether 
they can be invited for such functions parties events etc then now just few people can think if somebody is asking you that are you free saturday night or are you free on sunday so what answer you people can give you people can answer like this so if somebody is saying are you free on sunday you can say let me check my calendar so you can say like this because right now as a student you are free you might be free and you don't have any kind of busy schedule but now you just imagine that if you are working in a multinational company where you are uh, role is manager so you might have number of activities pre planned so you have meetings you people have presentations you people have workshops you people have to visit project sites so number of activities that you people are already involved so you want it to check your calendar whether you people are free at that particular time so you may say let me check my calendar or again that is informal way to ask someone that do you wanna so here you just remember wanna is an expression which is used in native uh, english or american english and it means want to so here it means do you want to see a movie so you can ask somebody of your friends do you want to see a movie so that kind of uh, offer invitation you can ask to your friends then uh, again in formal way you people can just see that we like to join me for dinner or here this is just an example join me for dinner but you can change this would you like to join for party would you like to join me for lunch would you like to join for uh, other activities that you people are currently doing so based on that you may ask to people like this okay so this way people just try to remember next you people can answer is like this i would love to so here you just remember that i apostrophe and d it indicates that contraction form of i would and it in short i would so that is written like this so if somebody is asking you to that do you want to see a movie then you can reply like this i would love to so i'd love to it means i would love to come with you and watch a movie so in that case you can say like this i would love to or you people can also reply sounds great so what do you mean by sounds great so sounds great means the idea of going and watching movie it is great so in that way you people can say sounds great or if you are just Uh, ask for somebody that would you like to join me for dinner so if you wanted to join to that person in that case you can say sounds great and then you can join that person so this way also you people can react next to see that you people can also say that i would love to but so here is a but but i have another commitment so in this situation now you people have to just think that actually you wanted to join to that person and go and watch movie that is your wish but uh, because of some other work that you are not able to go with that person that you have another commitment you have to join a meeting you have to conduct a workshop or you have a class you have a lecture or there is some urgent work that you have to complete and so you're not able to go so in that case you can say that i would love to but i have another commitment so it means that i would like to come with you but i am not able to come the next expression is that i don't think i can so when you can say this that you actually don't want to go with that person and you know that uh, you are not going with that person in that case you can just reply to that person like this i don't think i can that means you are not going with that person to watch a movie or for a dinner or for lunch or party shopping for any other reasons that might be asking to you or in other words you people can say that 
मे बी अनादर टाइम सो नी मे बी अनादर टाइम इट मीन दैट राइट नाउ यू आर नॉट एबल टू गो एंड दैट्स वाई यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट इन फ्यूचर मे बी इफ यू वॉन्टेड टू गो विद दैट दैट टाइम यू विल प्लान एंड यू विल गो एंड सो यू आर सेंग मे बी अनादर टाइम ओके सो दिस वे यू पीपल कैन जस्ट use such phrases for inviting and reacting to such invitations okay so is it audible is it visible are you getting it yes sir yes okay. sir okay sanket are you getting it yes sir yogesh yogesh is it audible to you yogesh shrikant is it audible to you shrikant yes sir suraj is it audible yes sir umesh are you connected umesh yes Yes, sir. Shraddha, is it audible? Or not audible? Shubham, is it audible to you? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So most of the people they are active and they are listening. Then in that case, it is worth. Okay. so then we can move towards the next slide where you people will uh, see how you people can respond to an offer if somebody is asking you to have something some water cold drink or tea or snacks or breakfast or something they are offering so that time how we people can react to such offer or how we can make offer to others so let's see first of all you people can ask someone so you cannot ask like this so here you people just remember that a drink is related to alcohol because in western cultures taking a drink is normal but in our culture having alcohol is not normal thing so you can change this instead of drink you people can uh, say tea here okay so do you like a uh, tea you can ask somebody okay so uh, suppose that you are in canteen and you wanted to offer your friend or you wanted to ask your friend whether he will have tea or what so in that case you can ask that would you like a tea or having a tea also or mostly drinking tea also it is called so see in uh, native english they don't say drinking tea yeah? so we people आपण मराठीमध्ये चहा पिणे म्हणतो आणि म्हणून पिण्यासाठी आपण ड्रिंक शब्द वापरतोय आणि मग चहा पिणे म्हणून ड्रिंकिंग टी असं वापरतो बट इन नेटिव्ह इंग्लिश पीपल हॅव टू थिंक दॅट दे डोंट से ड्रिंकिंग टी सो ड्रिंकिंग इज समवॉट डिफरंट ड्रिंकिंग इज रिलेटेड टू अल्कोहोल सो यू कॅन आस डू यू लाईक अ टी ऑर यू कॅन आस डू यू लाईक टू हॅव अ टी सो हॅव इज अ वर्ड प्रॉपरली फॉर इटिंग अँड ड्रिंकिंग दॅट कॅन बी युज सो वुड यू लाईक टू हॅव अ ट्री a tea it means that would you like to drink a tea like this okay then uh, next you people may ask that do you want some water so maybe that you are at a restaurant and uh, the waiter there he may ask you like this do you want some water or you may ask your friend that do you want some water so instead of water you can change other thing also do you want some sugar do you want some chocolates do you want some something like that you people can you can change this water and you can use other words here then uh, next few people can just also ask somebody can i get you something to it so here suppose you are asking to whom you are asking to your friend and here you maybe just see that from somewhere you just went to a restaurant or some hotel and there you wanted to order some food for your friend and you also or you thought that your friend seems hungry and you wanted to get him something for eating so in that case you can ask him can i get you something to eat 
So in that case, you can ask like this. And if suppose that your friend asked you like this, so your friend asked you, "Can I get you something to eat?" And in that case, he wanted to eat something. So you people can answer like this. That would be great. So here, that apostrophe d, it is that would be great. And you can say thanks. So that would be great. Thanks. It means that it is yes. It means that you wanted to eat something, and you'll be happy if your friend ordered some food for you. So this way, you people can react. Then in another case, suppose you don't want to eat. So in that case, what you can say? You can say no, thanks. I'm okay, and it means no. No means I don't want to eat. So in this case, same question that your friend asked you like that. Can I get you something to eat? And you don't want to eat. So in that case, you can say no, thanks. I'm okay. So it means here you don't want to eat. Okay. Then uh, next here that how we people can talk about future plans. So when we people are going to talk about future plans, all of us might have some future plans. I hope that you people also have some future plans. So if you have future plans, try to just note them down in your diary, personal diary, so that you people have to remember them, because they'll give you a way. If you don't have anything in front of your eyes, or you people don't have any future plans, so in that case, you'll be just remain idle only. You'll be just lazy only because there is nothing to do, or you don't have any plans for future. So therefore, it may be like this. So you people should have future plans, and if you have future plans, how you people can just uh, tell them if somebody is asking you. So what are your future plans? So maybe uh, one question also might be asked sometimes in interview. What are your future plans? So how you people can just uh, talk about such future plans? So let's say here some phrases that you people can just talk. That first of all you can begin with I am going. So I am going. This is a sentence that you can begin that something you are going to complete in near future. So what you can say? I am going to start my own business. I'm going to build a house. I'm going to buy a car. I'm going to uh, stay in Delhi. So somewhat like this, you people can just talk about what are your future plans might be. You can begin with I am going, and then you can just start. I'm going to complete my PhD. So this is also one way that you people can talk. Or in other words, you people can say that I am planning to. You can say, "I'm planning to complete my PhD. I'm planning to build a, a beautiful house, or I'm planning to buy a farm. I'm planning to go to Delhi, or anything. What your plans are? As per your plans, you just talk after this dot dot dot. Then uh, next, I hope to. So I hope to. It means that I expect. So I hope." To get a scholarship in America, I hope to uh, get a good job after completion my B Tech. So this way, what you expect, you people can talk from this. Then uh, next, you people can say that I would like to. So I would like to. You can say I'd like to buy a car. I'd like to buy a home. I'd like to build a home. I'd like to. Uh, To, uh, develop a park or anything that what you like to do in the future, you people can talk accordingly. Okay, so all of you have to remember that to join after getting disconnected. Okay. So next is I may and I might. So may and might is different. May shows more possibility. Might shows less possibility. You can say I may. Uh, Go to Delhi, or you say I may uh, think of a business, or likewise anything. Or you can say I might complete my education, likewise. But here it is less possibility that you will complete your education. And the last point is about that 
I'm thinking about. So here you people have to remember that I'm thinking about the here future things. I'm thinking about uh, buying a premium. I'm thinking about purchasing a new uh, car. 